Why does that not extend to race? Tell me what you mean by that. Uh, ma'am, not to be rude, but this just ain't gonna work. You can decide whether or not you want to be a boy or girl or non-binary. Yeah, but you can't actually decide. And I'm for choice, and there are a lot of biological realities that I'm sad about that I would change about my... No, I'm sincere. I would change about myself. And so I'm not attacking anybody, but don't right. you think that biological reality matters and lying to kids and telling them, you know, actually you could be six, seven, or you could have blue eyes instead of brown or whatever. I mean, those are lies. And it's never a good idea to lie to kids, is it? I don't think it's a lie. I think it's actually giving children more information at a younger age than we traditionally have. Right, so it's like, it's, I'm going to give a comparison. It's like raising a child to not assume that they're heterosexual. Right, the way I've raised my children is to say, like, I don't know what they're going to be, and I'm not just going to assume that they're gay or they're straight. I just give them lots of information and expose a, but, them to lots of people. But there's a different, there's a difference here because whereas you know we don't know a lot about the biology of homosexuality, we know a lot about the biology of sex because we know that it begins in the chromosomal level. Like, there's a science piece to this that's being ignored by people who I thought believed in science. So that's why I'm a little bit confused. I don't think it's being ignored. I think what we're seeing, though, in, in the federal study and in, in what's come out in terms of the Census Bureau is that if 1.4 million people don't identify with the gender marker that they were given at birth, we have to take note of that and say what's going on, that there's a fluidity about gender and it's not necessarily rooted in biology. Why does that not extend to race? <sighs> Tell me what you mean by that. You're going to have to explain that one If I can one say I'm a woman, why can't I say I'm a Chinese woman and be taken every bit as seriously? And I'm not, I'm not mocking you. I'm making a sincere point, and it's a sincere question. What's the difference? You know, I think it's, I, it's a great question. I mean, I think as we progress as a society, some of these labels that we're putting on things, and I, and I can't necessarily um, go to the race question, although one of the things that I've loved about your program as of late is that you're really into this idea of having a more inclusive society and being less separatist in terms of race, that we should be more inclusive. And I think that that's what we're saying. We're creating a space yeah. at the table for people to be, um, to, to have optionality in terms of how they want to identify themselves. Okay. Well, as long as, as long as we're still science-based, then, you know, as a childly it's enlightenment. It's not taking I'm science for... off the table. It's just saying, can <laughs> we look at it from not. another perspective? Okay. No, thanks for coming on today. Thanks, Tucker, it. so much for having me. I appreciate it. First things first, and I'm not trying to be smug, just an observation, but notice that her job title says psychotherapist. I don't think it's too far-fetched to say we're on to something with that status. She might be a little loopy up top if this is the kind of ideas that she's buying into because this idea of trying to change things up and alter what you were born as, definitely psychotic. She's absolutely wrong. It's a lie. It's garbage. It's a complete farce, and it's very harmful to these kids of this generation and and so on. And th this isn't science. Tucker's spot on with this one as usual. He wants to keep it to science. Uh, but this right here, we don't need to progress as a society in regards to gender inclusiveness and these made up genders and identity confusion, all this nonsense right here. I wish he would have pressed her more on that issue, but I'll take it from here. And hey, I get that many of you don't fear God, you don't love God and believe in him like I do and walk that righteous path. I'm not naive to, to think that we're all on the same page, but let's at least come to a conclusion and acknowledge how dangerous this idea is that any of us can wake up on any given day and become anything that we want to and identify and want people to go along with anything under the sun. Literally anything under the sun because when you talk to the people that agree with this sort of thinking they can never answer the one question how many genders are there? They can't tell you because it's unlimited to them. So in theory I can be like a 8 foot long raging tiger from Madagascar that also identifies as a trillionaire. You gonna go along with that? Because according to these Looney Tunes if you don't go along with how I choose to identify your race you're sexist, you just get straight up canceled no matter what, just because you want to live in reality. And even my gender identity and, and way of thinking, I don't think mine's even that crazy compared to other people that actually put men and women in harm's way with their confused state of being. It's an evil, slippery slope that we really don't want to aid in in going down. We don't, we don't want to go down this path. I'm telling you, you can imagine how crazy this could get. And I understand that at the core, these folks, mainly liberals, they think that they're being caring and compassionate and allowing you to go with how you feel. But ultimately, they just end up harming kids a whole lot more in the long run for not dishing out the straightforward truth. Give it to me straight. Tell me how life really is and that it's difficult no matter if you're a man or a woman. Just give it to me how it is. X, 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 Y, Adam and Eve is where it all started. And you may not believe it all started with Adam and Eve, but there are only two genders. Unless in an extremely rare case, you're born intersex with that sort of abnormality that 
It's only temporary for a little while until parents and doctors then figure out how to proceed moving forward. But what this lady is talking about right here, this psychotherapist, this ain't the solution at all. I honestly think that these woke psychologists and teachers are some of the most dangerous types of people in our children's lives today. Because think about it. A lot of families, they don't have any choice. Homeschooling is just not feasible. They can't do it themselves. They can't afford to enroll them in another family or mother that is in control of the curriculum. So then they got to send little Johnny and Lisa off to the deep, dark pits of public education, where then they proceed to spend that next six to eight hours with their child. And it's usually an evil, grumpy, woke, narrative pushing teacher that gets paid far too little or, you know, maybe exactly what they deserve. And they're hypocrites. They're the, the teachers that are in charge of the business class that they've never sniffed a entrepreneurship role a day in their life. They've never opened their own business a day in their life. So they're telling you how to do something, but they don't actually know how to do it successfully in reality. They're the same ones that, that now say before common era BCE, when in reality, it's before Christ. We count time by Jesus Christ when he was born. It's 2023 because 2023 years ago, the Messiah was born. So then those individuals, teachers, counselors, psychotherapists, those are the ones tasked with the responsibility of sculpting our, our youth, sculpting our children. And that combined with single parent households, usually not a, a righteous living father in the home because women run the world and, and it's all feminists going going crazy in today's world. We don't, we don't got fathers teaching kids with good moral values, instilling that discipline in them. And on top of all that, we've completely sexualized, victimized, and led society into this whirlwind of relative truth. So really all that to say, we got our work cut out for us if you weren't aware by now, but I have complete faith that God will work this all out exactly how it's supposed to be to serve his purpose. But it will be a whole lot simpler if we just respected and abided the 10 commandments and Jesus's teachings. That would make this all a whole lot easier, but I'm going to share this passage from the Messiah, Jesus Christ himself. Matthew 18 verse six says, but whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him to have a heavy millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. So if you keep leading these children astray, you keep lying to them, you keep, you know, consoling them and, and affirming that they can change their gender when they can, in fact, not giving them these puberty blockers. All this evil wickedness is going to be gnashing the teeth, fiery furnace, that, that temperature is about to get cranked up. So we got to continue pushing back. We have to fight for these children in this generation, the next, and so on. And it's paramount that we stick up and fight against all this false reality. If we know it's the right way of living, we need to stand firm in that. Don't just judge off mere appearances. Judge with righteous judgment. I would bet my bottom dollar that come judgment day, if I'm calling out all this evil, I'm, I'm assuming God will be right with me. God isn't isn't partial to, to, to wrong ways of living. God is, is either right or is wrong. And if it ain't in, in God's Bible, if it's not breathed out by the word of God in this, the basic instructions before leaving earth, then it ain't the right way of living. So we got to continue to point out this foolishness. And whenever possible, homeschool your kids and make sure it's based in truth, which again, there is no truth without God. And I know some of y'all are going to disagree and that's perfectly fine. God gave us free will. So you're entitled that right. But this is is my channel and woe is me if I don't preach the gospel. I got to stand firm on it. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. You can do whatever you want in your house, whatever creepy, willy nilly, freaky, nasty stuff you want to do. That's on you. You'll have to face judgment day just like I will. So if, if you can't get down with the things I'm talking about, scroll on and, and keep it moving or like, dislike, do whatever you got to do. Share your thoughts below. I'm sure my audience is very loyal, so they'll let you know what they think. I don't even got to speak. But that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed this Tucker Carlson clip, you enjoyed my perspective, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video, just in case YouTube forgets to let you know. If you want to support the channel, take it a step further. You can always get awesome designs like this made by my lovely wife. It says faith can move mountains, and it definitely can. Anything you have faith in, even as small as a mustard seed, God can make it happen if it's part of his will for you in your life. But again, this is found on my wife's Etsy store made by her, as well as these awesome new tumblers. This says be the light Matthew 5 14 go check out all her awesome designs Christian American all of that link down below as well as all the other stuff in that's similar is linked down below you can join the patreon fam donate on paypal buy me a coffee any of that stuff by no means do you have to uh I love y'all I appreciate y'all just showing up I'm praying for you and this uh woke psychotherapist and this entire world that is clearly confused and needs to be directed to the Lord but until next time I love y'all Godspeed I'm gone